Hi and welcome to Data Hawk. Monitoring daily sales data of a product on Seller Central and understanding how it affects your BSR and keyword rankings is a major use case and a struggle for most. But it is super critical to run your business. Data Hawk Finance provides a minimalist and helpful sales reporting tool for Seller Central merchants to quickly analyze performance. From a user-friendly dashboard to historical sales data experts, you have it all on one screen. Let's dive into it to understand how you can skyrocket your productivity by leveraging valuable insights on your sales impacting your BSR and other performance metrics. Here's how you can get started. First things first, connect your MWS account to DataHawk. Also click on the link here to read our quick help article to connect your MWS account. When you log into the platform, the homepage sits multiple dashboards and this beauty is our playground. You can now see all the KPIs for sales and its performance history. To begin with, you can choose to filter by MWS accounts as well as marketplaces as per your choice. The calendar allows you to select the date range of your choice. You could choose 30 days, 90 days, 12 months, till date or customize the range. Viewing your data on daily, monthly and weekly basis is also made super easy. You can just do it in one click. You can see the top KPIs here. The dashboard flaunts the sales made as per the selected period. Here, for instance, you can see it on a per day basis and along with it is the evolution with respect to the previous period. You can also see the number of orders received and units sold along with the percent evolution made with respect to the previous period. In this case, there has been 16% increase in orders and 9% increase in the units sold. The dashboard also gives you a snapshot of the top 10 selling products. You can see here their share of voice in terms of contribution to the sales made. To give you an example, you can see here that this product Sony Alarm Clock has made the most sales which are 29.83% of the total sales made by the top 10 products. You can also see the numbers that it has made. You have this information in beautiful chart that enables easy identification of your top stars and those that you can push hard to be the unicorns. Hovering over each slice gives you all the information including the title, the sales made and the percentage top contribution in top 10. As a seller central merchant on Amazon, you should constantly keep track of your products, daily sales data and fully assimilate how they influence your keyword rankings and Amazon BSR. DataHawk Finance also has a product listing section that gives you a list of all the products you are selling on Amazon. More than one seller account? Of course, we have it provisioned. You could connect more than one account to DataHawk and you have an easy menu option to select it on both the dashboard as well as product listing section. To monitor the till date sales performance of a product, you have the top KPIs here. This gives you an overview of all the sales data. You can filter to analyze the data by sales channel, order count, sales generated or order date. If you're selling a product but have missed tracking it on DataHawk platform, no problem. We give you the option to track them here in just one click. You can use the export sales report here to export the last 30 days sales data on Excel to funnel your analysis with your preferred filters. You can also export up to two years of your order history with our export orders option on the top right corner next to export sales report here. That's not it. Want to analyze your sales on ASIN level? Let's do this. Here's what a product sales history dashboard looks like. For instance, this is the total sales generated by this product in the last 30 days, which is around 50,000 INR. You can see that there has been a spike of 60% for the last month, where it was around 25,500. You have a similar overview of the number of units sold and the total number of orders received. The intuitive graphs here show the sales generated along with the quantity. The table below is a quick view of all the KPIs on a calendar. The 60% boost in sales compared to the previous day can be a result of different factors such as implementing the right changes to the product listing, opting for the strongest keyword by using DataHawk's keyword generator tool, keeping an eye on the main competitor and the strategies that pulled off on Amazon so as to increase the Amazon BSR and eventually the top rank. The most important thing that is considered for BSR is the number of sales and the more recent, the better. In the table below, you can see how the increase in sales rank growth from June 29 has increased Amazon's sales rank from a selected product from ranking 1,195 in the previous day 
to an Amazon BSR position of 679 in the following day. For this product, you can clearly see that the sales rank growth has slightly increased on 29th of June when compared to the previous day, which has instantly led to an increase in the Amazon BSR here. However, this increase does not represent enough improvement on the Amazon marketplace, nor means that your sales velocity is high, as a graph shows how the sales rank dropped suddenly on June 15th and 16th, where on 16th the unit sold was zero. On the contrary, we can clearly see that for the listed product, the 250% increase in the sales rank growth on June 23rd has led to a lower Amazon BSR on the next day. The product went from positioning 936 on the previous day to 929 Amazon BSR rank on the following day. The seller might have implemented the right SEO strategies by for instance bidding for his strongest keywords that have optimized his organic performance and eventually increased the sales velocity. The average selling price has a sure impact on BSR, the lower the better. You can see here the seller has played on pricing that has also contributed in obtaining a better BSR. The way he managed to avoid having his sales drop again is also a result of solid analysis, regular monitoring and competitor benchmarking. Well, that's it for this one guys. I'll see you in the next episode with more tips and more insights. <music>